everybody! So for today's video, we are here at GAC Kawit. And today, we're going to review the GAC M6 1.5 GL. And today, dapat kasama natin si Sir Joy Balinga. But dahil wala siya, nandito si Ding Dong! <laughs> Yan yung anong kapalit mo na ni Sir. <laughs> yes! So Ding Dong, invite mo naman sila. Huh? Charis. So yun guys, if you have any questions, you can contact Sir Joy. Lalagay na lang namin sa screen yung kanyang contact details. And make sure na papanood niyo yung video namin hanggang dulo. So if hindi ka pa lang subscribe, mag-subscribe ka na. So please don't forget to hit that notification bell para lagi rin kayo updated sa mga upcoming uploads namin. So Ate Darlene, tara na. Tara, let's start. We all know that Chinese cars are known for its stylish and well-equipped compact crossovers just like this one, the GAC M Zoom. And they are also competing sa mga Japanese MPVs. Prior to the releasing of the M6 Pro, the GAC has the GN6. And unfortunately, hindi namin siya na-review pa. Pero simply looking and comparing the two, mas masasabi ko talaga mas premium yung M6 Pro dun sa exterior and interior niya. However, it is more expensive than, let's say, the Veloz or Expander. But in terms of premiumness and size, its competitors were maybe the Innova Zenix and Hyundai Kusten. But unlike the Zenix and Kusten, their top spec is around 2 million pesos. Well, this M6 Pro is available in two variants. And ito na rin pala guys yung top spec nila, which is the 1.5 GL that costs 1,598,000 pesos. And yung entry model naman nila na 1.5 GS price at 1,230,000 pesos. Although they lag behind in terms of decades of reputation, hindi talaga sila nagpapatalo in terms of tech, quality material use, design, and value for money. So sa mga bibili dyan, especially for their top spec, I bet they won't regret every peso spent. And napakaganda naman talaga nito as a family MPB, especially with its price point. Yes, I know it's not mesmerizing as the Honda Civic, but sa mga mummies and daddies natin dyan with their family, I know they are all in for the trip. So sige na, okay na kung okay mag-compliment nito, pero napakaganda naman talaga guys. So ngayon, magsimula na tayo sa exterior, pero Kuya James, master, roll the intro. Guys, we have a massive grille and tinatawag na yun siyang wing-wing design. So, comparing it to the GN6 there, here the front, yung kanyang grille is meron siyang visual effect na nagmumukha talagang mas malapad yung harap. And it resembles the alt part. So, dito pala guys, wala tayong front sensors. Pero good thing we have here the front camera and ADA sensors. So, the material used are the gloss black and yung chrome na paakyat. So, nagko-connecting siya dito sa ating headlight assembly, in particular dito sa ating DRL. So, yung headlight pala natin dito guys is LED na siya, but it's not just the normal LED na na-review natin. Dahil meron na rin siyang kasamang matrix technology. So, yun pala guys, if ever na meron kayo yung nasa harap na kotse and super bright na tutuwing gabi, kung saan na siyang mag adjust para hindi masilaw yung nasa harap nyo. And then, dito na rin pala guys yung kanyang turning signal light sa pinakababa. And dito sa baba guys, wala tayong fog lights, pero meron tayong gloss black housing na same design dito sa ating front grille. So, that's all for the front fascia. Now, let's go to the side profile. So, yung size pala ng gulong natin here, guys, is 215 over 50 R18. And yung kanyang tire brand is Michelin Tires. Yung design pala ng ating mugs is two-toned, which is silver and gray. And ang tingin ko sa kanya is turbine. So, dito pala, guys, yung cup natin para sa pagbobomba is meron na rin siya kasamang tire pressure monitoring. And yung kanyang braking system is all this brake, while the suspension are back-person strut sa harap and torsion beam naman dun sa rear end. So, yung ating side mirror here, guys, is body-colored na siya and auto-fold and power adjust. So, we have here the LED turning signal light, tsaka side camera, and heated na rin siya. So, dito, guys, sa upper part hanggang dun sa dulo is meron tayong chrome accent dyan, as well as dito sa buba. And meron na rin tayo ditong gloss black sa ating mga pillar, so nagbibigay talaga siya ng elegance. And here sa second row na ating window and third row, meron na rin tayong privacy glass. And we have here a body color door handle, so smart key entry na siya guys. So kunin lang natin yung susi. So ganda pala guys yung kanyang smart key. So what we have here is the lock and unlock. 
yung ating remote start, yung alarm, tsaka yung sa tailgate assist. So, napakalaki niya. May GAC logo tayo dito. So, black plastic and silver accent. So, parang ganda lang siya, di ba? Super fit. So, super nag-fit talaga sa kamay. And ganda yung tura ng spare key niya. Kaganda niyo lang siya sa likod. So, yan. So, aside sa pagiging smart entry niya, guys, may feature na rin siya na walk-away door lock. So, if ever man na nasa inyo yung susi, pag lumayo kayo, kusa na siyang maglalak. And if ever naman na lumapit kayo, kusa na rin siya mag-unlock. So, try natin. And the particular dimensions of this M6 Pro are 4,793mm by 1,837mm by 1,730mm and yung wheelbase nyo naman is 2,810mm. So yung ground clearance pala ng ating M6 Pro guys is 205mm. It has the same or familiar engine in most Chinese cars including the M Zoom, M Pow, M2 and Honda Civic RS which has 1.5 liters turbo gasoline engine. It has a maximum power of 274 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, maximum torque of 270 Nm of torque at 1,400 to 4,500 RPM, mated to a 7-speed wet DCT and its front wheel drive. So, pagdating naman sa fuel consumption, guys, yung sa city pala is 8 km per liter, while the highway naman is 15 km per liter. So, sarado na natin yung hood and pumunta na tayo sa likod. So, we have here a shark spin antenna and yung rear spoiler natin dito is two-toed na. Meron na rin tayo ditong wide third brake light, defoggers, and wiper. So, eto pala guys, yung ating taillight here is kitang-kita, lalo na sa gabi dahil nga connecting siya hanggang dyan. So, napakaganda talaga tingnan. Meron tayong turning signal light, reverse light, at saka yung brake light. So, meron na rin tayo ditong GAC logo. Tapos, meron na siyang nakasulat na M6 Pro. Tapos, yung 270T. So, yung T stands for torque. So, we have here a reverse camera, four-eyed sensors. And meron na rin tayong rear fog lights. Tapos, katabi niya yung reflector. So, sa pinakababa, meron tayo ditong chrome accent. And as you can see, guys, hidden yung muffler niya. And overall, ang masasabi ko talaga dito sa exterior ng ating M6 Pro, is napaka-boxy yung type niya, napakalaki. So, ma-expect mo rin na mas maluwag siya sa loob. And yun nga, modern looking siya and hindi naman sobrang exaggerated. Tsaka lahat ng amenities dito, lahat talaga magagamit and good thing dahil nga yung price point is super sulit. So, buksan naman natin ngayon yung tailgate. So, manual tailgate lang siya, guys, pero isang ganun lang and yun, may hydraulic assist na rin siya. So, ganito pala, guys, yung itsura dito sa loob sa likod. And makikita natin dito, meron tayong halogen light. And yun nga, napaka-lalim ng storage natin here dahil marami tayong pwedeng ilagay. So, ganito yung itsura niya kapag naka-open and nakababa pa to na ganito. So, meron tayong ditong tools and even here, may tools pa dito sa part na to. So, kung kulang pa sa inyo yung cargo space, pwede naman natin siya ibaba pa na ganito para ma-flat. So, isasagad nyo lang siya hanggang dito. Then, super flat na yan, guys. So, ang cargo space naman kapag nakababa na to na flat is 1,100 liters. So, that's all for the third row dahil hindi naman natin kayang ibaba yung second row kasi naka-fix siya. So, sarado lang natin to. Then, tawagin natin si Ate Darlene. Sarah, napakaganda naman ng exterior. May iba pa ba tong colors? Well, maliban dito sa crystal white, mayroon pa tayong two available colors, which are elegant black and peacock blue. So, mamili ka na lang doon, Ate Darlene, kung ano yung bibilhin mo. Parang gusto ko yung peacock blue. Eh, sa safety features naman, Ate Darlene, hindi ko kasi alam eh. So, our M6 has six SRS airbags, hill start assist and hill descent control, tire pressure monitor, 360 camera with rear sensors, and isofix. For the advanced driver assist, on the other hand, it has adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane keep assist, high beam assist, traffic jam assist, and traffic sign recognition system. Wow. So, yun talaga yung expect mo sa isang Chinese car, lalo na napakaraming features na kasama. Yeah, sobrang pack siya with features. <laughs> Pero aside that, i-check pa natin yung interior. Uh, so, samahan nyo guys si Ate Darlene para makita kung ano ba yung nasa loob. Tara!
car bodies, let us start the interior here sa ating door panel sa driver's seat. So, it's a combination of colors and design. Dito sa taas, mayroon tayong hard plastic, mayroon tayong silver and gray na merong mountain designs here. Ayan, dito silver din and meron tayong tweeter. Then, meron din tayo ditong leather. Ayan, it's in color red-violet. So, perforated na siya here and sobrang lambot ng kanyang elbow rest. So, meron din tayo ditong silver and then sa baba meron tayong bottle holder and a compartment. Also, meron din tayong speaker sa baba. So, bukod sa tweeter dito sa taas, meron tayong speaker and all in all, we have eight speakers. We can expect na sobrang ganda ng ating sound system because our speakers are powered by DTS. And then lastly, dito sa baba ay meron tayong door safety light. Pasok naman tayo sa loob. Our driver seat is six-way power adjust while our passenger seat is four-way manual adjust. Heated na rin pala siya guys. Mas okay nga lang kung ventilated because of the Philippine weather pero nice na rin kasi yung ating front seats ay heated na. Dito naman tayo sa ating left side ng ating dashboard. So, this is plastic, guys. And then, meron ulit tayong leather material dito in color red-violet. And then, sa ating aircon, meron tayong piano black and silver. Sa baba is our switches for hill descent control, 360 camera, and traction. Yan, may mga uh, abang din tayo dyan. And then, meron tayong small compartment dito. Pwede natin lalagyan ng coins or cards. And then, sa baba is our hood and gasoline release. For our steering wheel, guys, it is fully covered with leather, with stitches. And meron ulit tayo ditong piano black and silver. Sa left side natin, andito yung ating controls for our infotainment. While sa right side naman is for our ADAS. Itong nasa gitna is for our gauge. Tingnan natin kung tilted and telescopic siya. So yes, it can be tilted and it's not telescopic. So, tilted lang siya. Hindi siya telescopic, guys. And then, our headlight and our wiper is automatic na. Try natin yung horn. Nakakagulat siya. Nagulat yung ating mga nasa behind the cam. Dito naman sa taas, guys, meron na tayong panoramic sunroof. Of course, meron din tayong map light and lalagyan ng sunglasses. Yung ating rear view mirror is auto dimming na rin siya, guys. And then meron tayo of course visor. Ayun. Meron siyang mirror and light. Tingnan natin kung ganun din sa passenger. Yes, it's the same. Meron ding mirror and light. And meron tayong grab handle doon sa ating passenger seat. Wala nga lang dito sa driver seat. Dito naman sa ating dashboard, it is still plastic. And then, dito, leather material na siya, na red-violet. Then, piano black and silver. Ganon din sa ating aircon. Tingnan natin kung spacious ba yung ating glove box. Wow! Okay lang yung space niya. Hindi ko masasabing sobrang laki niya. Pero hydraulic naman siya, guys. And then, dito sa ating armrest, leather na din siya. Color red-violet with white stitches. And ang laki niya, guys. Sobrang comfortable. Ang lambot. And then, ito, ang laki ng ating lalagyan dito. And meron pa siyang 12-volt socket. Dito naman sa gitna, ang ganda ng ating center console kasi medyo elevated siya, no? Meron tayong dalawang cup holder and meron tayo ditong space. Pwede siguro ito lalagyan ng ating phone. It is housed with piano black and still, meron pa din ditong leather. So, ang lambot-lambot. Then, yung ating shifter, house din siya with piano black and silver. And meron siyang parang design dito sa itaas. Then, meron din tayong electronic parking brake and auto hold. Then, here, nandito yung ating drive mode selector. So, meron tayong tatlong mode. Meron tayong comfort, eco, and sport. Dito naman sa taas, is meron tayong dalawang USB port. So, meron tayong Type A and meron tayong Type C. Ayan, leather ulit. So, kung mapapansin nyo, puro leather, guys. It's so soft. Andito yung ating aircon control. So, ang ating aircon is dual zone na siya and it's automatic. And yung kanyang controls is in silver and meron pa rin piano black 
Dito naman tayo sa ating infotainment. So, we have a 10.25 na infotainment. Tingnan natin kung anong, ano yung mga features niya. So, meron tayo dito ang audio sources. And as you can see, meron dito ang Apple CarPlay. So, this is powered by Wired Apple CarPlay and CarLife. Unfortunately, wala tayong Android Auto, pero meron naman siyang CarLife. And then, ito yung nasa menu niya. Meron tayo ditong tachograph. So, kung meron kayong nilagay na USB dito, dito nyo makikita yung mga recording ng ating dashcam. And then, sa settings, makikita natin yung driver assist. So, ayan. And then, try natin yung open yung What? open <laughs> ating 360 camera. So, ayan. Kung makikita nyo, sobrang linaw. Exit. And then, ayun. Meron ding radio, of course. Pwede na nating i-control from here yung ating aircon. So, touchscreen na siya, guys. As I've said, dual zone yung ating aircon. Kaya, ayan, magkaiba sila ng temperature. And meron na din tayong purify. So, that's all for our infotainment. Para naman sa ating gauge, so connecting na siya guys, no? So, very clean siya tignan kasi maganda yung pagkakakonect nilang dalawa. Parang iisa lang sila. Yung ating gauge is only 7 inch. Pero kung titignan nyo, parang buo siyang ganito. Parang magkasing laki sila ng infotainment. Dito sa left side ng ating gauge is our temperature. Dito naman sa ating right side is our fuel gauge. So, for our gauge, para ma-navigate natin siya, we can use these buttons. So, ayan. For driving assist, makikita natin dyan yung current memory, yung history memory, ating tire pressure monitor, and yung ating odometer. So, dyan natin makikita yung ano, fuel economy natin. Then, meron din ditong warning. So, ayan. Music, and then yung ating settings. So, ang ganda, no? Ang dami nating pwedeng information na makita sa ating gauge. Looking at our dashboard dito sa interior natin sa unahan, very luxurious siya tignan and it's very clean. Kasi nga yung ating gauge and yung ating infotainment, magkaduktong na siya. And very comfortable kasi sobrang labot. Parang kahit saan ka tumama, hindi ka masasaktan. Wow, sana all. <laughs> Kasi ang lambot niya. Promise, pag sakay ko lang kanina, sabi ko, ay, sobrang lambot ng upuan niya. Ano pa kaya yung nasa second row seat, no? Check natin. So, yung ating seat configuration for our GAC M6 is 2 plus 2 plus 3. So, 7-seater siya, guys. For our door panel, same na same siya doon sa nasa unahan or doon sa driver seat. Ang difference lang is, of course, yung controls meron lahat dun sa driver seat and automatic na yung windows dun. So, still plastic, meron tayong silver, gray, mountain design, um, leather, na perforated here, and then silver again, meron ulit bottle holder, and compartment, tweeter, and speaker. Dito sa taas, meron tayong aircon, grab handle, and dome light. So, ang lakas ng ating light dito. Then, dito meron tayong packet sa ating unahan. And, aircon controls. Meron din siyang piano black and silver. So, the difference is yung aircon controls natin sa unahan, silver to. Pero here, color black siya. Sa baba, meron tayong USB na charging port. And, meron din tayo dito, USB na charging port. And, compartment dito where pwede nyo ilagay yung cellphone nyo kung nagsa-charge kayo. Meron din tayong dalawang cup holders. So, ayan. Ang ganda, guys. Ang dami niyang amenities. Then, for the seats, as you can see, meron na tayong dalawang captain seat dito sa ating second row seat. This is still covered with PVC leather and perforated siya. Merong lining ng red-violet na leather and white stitches. And yung ating headdress dito, ang difference niya dun sa front seat ay butterfly na siya. So, kahit mag... You what? <laughs> ano daw? What did he say? <laughs> kahit matulog kayo at malaglag yung ulo nyo, may sasalo sa inyo. Ay, sa inyo ulo yung sasalo. O, oh, di ba? Sobrang komportable. Kung komportable na ako kanina dun sa driver seat, mas komportable to, guys. Promise. And guys, pwede natin siyang slide forward and backwards and recline na din. Manual lang siya. Try natin. 
Wow. Though manual siya, ang bilis niya. And then, recline. Ay, grabe! Ready na ako mag-long drive. Driver na lang ang pula. <laughs> ang comfortable! Huwag kayo iiyak. Promise! Iba yung pagkalambot niya. Yung panoramic sunroof niya, guys, is nag -e extend siya hanggang dito. So, perfect for sightseeing. Pag nakahiga kayong ganyan, no? Kitang-kita niyo yung skies or stars. ba diba? So, sobrang ganda niya. At sobrang comfortable. Yun yung importante. So, for our knee room, as you can see, napakalaki niya. Nagpas isang dangkal pa siya. 5'6 ako, guys, ha? Sobrang laki niya. And pwede pa siyang lumaki kung i-slide natin to ng sagad sa likod. And yung ating headroom, ayan, isang tangkal ko pa siya. So, very spacious siya. And also, yung ating flooring, flat siya. So, nakaka-add siya sa space. Ang ganda niya, guys. Sobrang luwag niya tignan. And in-expect ko na rin naman siya kasi ang ganda din yung exterior kanina. Sabi ko, ah, siguro ang luwag nito sa loob. And true nga, sobrang luwag niya dito sa ating unahan. Natataas din pala to, guys. Wait. Natatang ah! Natatanggal siya, guys. Andito yung spare tire. Ngayon lang ako naka-experience ng ganyan, guys. Na nandito yung spare tire. So, ayan. That's all for our second row seats. Punta naman tayo sa third row. Dito naman sa ating third row seat ay in-invite ko na si Sarah. So, Hello. sa amenities muna tayo. Meron tayong aircon vent, grab handle, and dome light. So, same lang dun sa nasa second row seat. Hindi na nga lang aabot dito yung panoramic sunroof. Then, dito, plastic siya. And, may ganun pa rin color yung red-violet. Pero, plastic na siya, guys. Meron tayong cup holder and USB port. Diyan, Sarah, ganun din ba? Oo, may USB port din dito. Tapos, yung pagka-plastic niya, may pagka-brown. Mm -mm, para siyang red-violet. Same ng mga leather niya. Then, ang galing ng ilaw dito kasi tinan mo dito siya nakano. And, ang lakas talaga. Mm -hmm. So, for the seats naman, guys, the material is still the same. Pwede siyang ma-recline. Hindi nga lang siya pwedeng ma-slide. And, ayun, sobrang spacious pa rin niya kahit nasa third row seat pa rin. Kasi, eto, naka-normal siya. Pero, tingnan yung knee room ko, malaki pa din. And, yung headroom, malaki pa din. Mm -hmm. Diyan sa side mo, Sara. As I fly flat, napakalaki nga dito. And yun nga, bago ako pumasok dito, nakaupo pa ako dun sa second row. Super lambot nung upuan niya. Mm, super lambot. Yun, super comfy. So, ang ganda talaga ng M6 mm -hmm. Pro na to, kahit dito sa loob, guys. Kahit last row na to, parang hindi mo feel na na pag-iiwanan ka. And also, look at the space between us. Hindi pa kami masyado nakaisod niya, na. Mm -hmm. So, kasha talaga dito, tatlong tao. Kasha pa sa atin, Mikay. <laughs> True! Kasha pa sa atin, Mikay, dito. And, yung sa flooring niya, flat din. So, nakaka-add siya sa space. Mm -hmm. Hindi siya masikip. And, nare-recline din to, di ba? Mm -mm. Ayan, actually, nakarecline siya ngayon. So, super comfortable. And, yun nga, guys, compared dun sa Innova namin, mas malaki yung bintana nito. Dahil, ba diba, sa third row, parang airplane lang yung bintana. No. Pero ngayon, parang dumoble pa. So, kitang-kita mo kahit nakaganto ka lang. True. Ang laki, no? Nakaka-add yun sa space, eh. Parang illusion na malaki yung nasa paligid. Very fit siya for long drive, yung mga sightseeing, gano'n. So, ayun. Ang sarap nga niya i-test drive. So, GAC Kawit, baka, baka ma-i-test drive. <laughs> Ako okay, yung ano, passenger. Passenger nga lang kami. <laughs> So, ayun, that's it for the interior. Labas na tayo. So, buddies, that is it for our review of the GAC M6 Pro. So, kasama namin ulit si Ding. Nag-change outfit. Nag-change outfit siya, guys. Same na kami ng outfit. Black and red. Siya ba yung nag-adjust? May date kaming tatlo, guys. Kaya, ayan, matchy-matchy ang outfit. Marian, pahira muna. So, ayun guys, ngayon ikocompare naman natin yung ating M6 Pro sa ating base model. So, Sarah, so, for, the, for the exterior, anong difference? Well, um, dun pa lang sa gulong guys, yung 16 rims kasi, 16 inch yung rims nung 
base model, tapos yung top of the line natin is 18 inches nga. And the halogen lights na lang yung meron tayo dun sa base model. And yun nga, manual na lang yung headlight, tsaka manual na lang yung wipers, tapos wala na siyang sunroof. So, for the interior naman, guys, so, manual adjust na yung front seats niya. Apat na lang yung speakers instead of eight. And wala na siyang 360 camera. Yung seats natin, hindi na siya PVC leather. Fabric na siya. And may captain seats pa naman. Fabric na nga lang. And then, dual airbags lang and no adas. Pero good thing, same ng gauge and infotainment. So if ever talaga na may budget kayo for the top of the line, mas prefer namin na yun na yung bilhin nyo kasi diba, yes. full package. True. Pero wala rin namang problema kung yung base model yung mabibili nyo dahil yun nga, yes, malaki sir. pa rin yung space sa loob. Marami kayong masasakay. That's it. If meron kayong mga inquiry, tawag na lang kayo kay Sir Joy Balinga. Ilalagay namin ulit yung information niya sa screen. And thank you so much to GAC <laughs> Kawit <laughs> sa pagpayag na ma-review namin itong GAC M6. So sana ma-test review natin. So GAC Kawit, baka naman. <laughs> yes. Ding dong, thank you. <laughs> Kanina pa siya nangangiti. <laughs> so ayun, don't forget to... Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Carview PH, and hit that notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga upcoming uploads natin. So guys, see you on our next videos! Bye! And napakaganda naman talaga nito as a family MPB, lalo na special needs. Lalo na special needs. Okay, game. Natatawa ako na sa sasabi. Nakalimutan ko yung... James Musker. So, ganito pala guys yung kanyang itsura. So, ganito pala guys yung itsura ng kanyang keys. Our driver seat is six-way power adjust while our... So, guys, that is... Guys, 